Ambassador, how does this play out with sanctions? There's been a lot of focus on cessation of these military exercises in the region, which the president talked about uh, stopping last night. But sanctions, according to the documents we've seen, stay in place, yet China is now making comments about how it would like to see some of those eased. How does that play out? Morgan, it's a very good point. This is a complex, important issue that has diplomatic, military, and economic components. One economic component uh, is the set of UN sanctions in place. And let me emphasize UN sanctions. Even the Chinese foreign minister, uh, ministry in its statement acknowledged that any changes to the sanctions would have to come through the United Nations and particularly the United Nations Security Council. So I think that's a fair topic for discussion, but I think the idea of sanctions relief should be carefully calibrated with progress on the diplomatic and security side. And if I may say one other point on the economic side, there has not been a lot of talk today about economic reconstruction of North Korea. Both the president and the secretary of state had quite a bit to say about that prior to the summit. That's going to be a very important part of this, too. And going back to John's good point, that's where friends, allies, international organizations, also people like the Chinese and others are going to have to be very much involved with us, the global community, in helping lay the governmental foundation that will then bring in private sector investment into what could be the largest infrastructure project uh, in this decade. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.